I was born in Iran, lived there 10 years. My mother's Armenian, my dad's Assyrian. But I love America, absolutely love America. Why would anybody in the right mind allow people to come into their homeland, your home, who hate your country? Why, who in the right mind? Can you imagine you say, yeah, I'd like to work for Apple. Great, how do you feel about our company? I hate you guys. Oh, let's hire you. you what a great employee, you're qualified. Let us call your references. Hey, what can you say about John Jordan? Oh, he hates <laughs> Apple. Phenomenal. Thank you for these references. $200,000 all your salary. Come on in. What the hell are we thinking about? No, a part of it has yeah. to be, you chose to come to our country. We didn't come to get you. You came to us. If you're coming here knocking on our door, wanting a membership to be a citizen of this great country, you best love America. And if you don't, get out. Go to a different place. Here's right. a, Go ahead and send your 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 passport and give give back your citizenship you have go to another country there's nothing wrong with that i think that concept of america being embarrassed i'm like listen yes america's done a lot of things we have a history but we've been the bully on the other side as well but why are 45 50 million people wanting to come here why do we only talk about the american dream because the founding fathers built something really special and now we want to say yeah but do you realize thomas jefferson was a racist and George Washington was this, and all these, you know, folks that want reparations, and then they sit there and do the ancestry test on them on African American men and women who are famous celebrities, and then they say, "You actually realize your great 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 grandfather was a slave owner?" Oh no way! Oh yes! Oh oh oh! I don't know what to say. Oh my God! No, you're a hypocrite. No, it's called none of your family members were perfect. We all have something in our lineage, but it happens to be America ended up doing it the right way. And that's why it's the greatest country. So I think Europe is going through it as well. And I don't blame them to realize their job is to be Germany first, UK first, America first. I understand that. And we need to have that pride as well like we did before and make sure that we invite the best people here, those who love America, not those who hate America. Europe right now sitting there, they were manipulated for so many years. Let every immigrant in, let all of them in. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You're no longer Britain, Britain. You're not. You are no longer Britain. You're no longer what you were, German. You're no, all these people you want to let in in one of these countries, I think it's Poland, where the guy's like, yeah, we don't let anybody in. Why? My number one priority is to my citizens, to protect them, not for other people coming in. Now, somebody may say, Pat, you're such a hypocrite. What's that? You're from Iran. You know, they let you in America. Yeah. So, so how about you? Well, I, I lived in Germany for a year and a half at a refugee camp. And then we waited to get our green card. And then we eventually came to America and I served the U.S. Army and I love America.